I hope you're all well. A few videos ago I did my self-care favourites and I shared loads of different things like books and room sprays and gym clothing and stuff. It just helped me to kind of take care of myself every day. And I did plan to share some beauty products in there as well, but the video got very, very long. So I said that I would be doing it in a separate video. So as a quick introduction, I am really into health and travel and well-being and positivity and just taking care of myself. I feel like as a mum, you know, a blogger and a YouTuber and just everything that I am, I can't do all of those things if I don't take care of myself. So I make self-care a really high priority. I will do a video, I think, on the importance of self-care it's important to me anyway because I have really learned to just listen to my body and just put myself as more of a priority which I feel like everyone should do. So yeah in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the beauty products that help me to take care of myself. They're all natural, they're all vegan. So yes if you like this video please do give it a big fat thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already because I do lots of videos like this and let's go. Okay, so number one is the Tropic Skincare Soothe the Senses Bath Soak. It's a nourishing oil to milk, so when you pour it in, it's very, very oily. It is a little bit tricky to get into the bath, like you do have to give it a shake. You'll never have to worry about tipping it and it all coming out, and then it just turns into a lovely milk bath. This one smells incredible, it's Soothe the Senses. I've also got Awaken the Senses. I tend to use that one more in the morning, and then the soothing one in the evening. It's made from essential oils, so it just smells incredible and it works. It really, really relaxes you, it relaxes your muscles, it relaxes your mind and I feel so much calmer when I have a bath with this. Next up I have another Tropic Skincare product. This is the Wild Mint Lime and Pineapple Body Wash. It smells amazing, it is so refreshing and invigorating. So I don't tend to use this in the evening, this is more of a morning one when I have my morning shower. It just smells incredible, it smells like a tropical paradise. It's got guava leaf juice and bamboo water and avocado oil, it's pH balanced. I let the kids use it as well and they've got very sensitive skin so I'm very fussy with what I let them use but because it's natural and vegan, it's just amazing. Okay, next up, I've got Nature's Alchemist, and this is the Balancing In Shower Body Polish. So it's got turmeric extract, which really helps with calming, and then it's got agave extract, which helps to restore. So it's a body scrub, but it's a really gentle one. So it's got tiny little beads in, but it's not harsh on your skin at all. I only use this about once a week, just like on my face, I'll only exfoliate that once a week, but I'm absolutely loving it. Turmeric is an amazing ingredient. I do turmeric shots. You can buy little like pre-made cold pressed turmeric shots and I love it. It's just got really amazing healing properties. So how I tend to do it is I use the bath oil at night to relax me. I use the body wash in the morning to kind of wake me up and refresh me. And I use the scrub kind of once a week, whether it's in the morning or in the evening, just to kind of get rid of the dead skin cells and just rejuvenate my skin a little bit. And then lastly for my skin, I have the, I don't know if it's pronounced Lucid Law or Lucid Law, Gismal. <laughs> luxury bath oil. I've never actually said the name before. Gismal. It's got camellia oil, sesame oil and watermelon oil and it is just lovely. I love putting oil on my body. It reminds me of when I was pregnant with both of the boys and I would use it for my stretch marks. Just a nice thing like if I've had a nice bath I then get out and let myself dry off and then I pop this on, get into my pyjamas, put my lavender spray on my pillow and yeah it just it makes me feel like I have a spa every evening. A little goes a long way but you're not left greasy, you're just left feeling really like soft and supple. Okay, so that's it for the body products. Now onto the face, I use the Tropic Skincare Smoothing Cleanser. It's very similar to the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish in that you apply a couple of pumps onto your face, rub it in, and then you use a bamboo cloth to rub it away. It smells amazing, it's gentle, it's great for getting off your makeup and it's vegan. And then like I said, once a week I exfoliate my face and I have been using the Urban Vida Purifying Exfoliating Facial Polish this is incredible. It's got wild mint, eucalyptus and witch hazel in and it is so refreshing. My skin has never felt fresher than when I use this. I've also got the face wash, so exactly the same as this but without the exfoliating beads in. I absolutely love that. I wouldn't use it to take my makeup off though because the mint would sting my eyes. So I could take my makeup off and then use that every day. I look forward to using this like once or twice a week. So yeah, that is amazing and it's another vegan brand. Okay, next up we have a couple of things from Luca Glure, Lucid Lure. We have the Serta Rose Toner. I never used to like the smell of rose water because I felt like it was a bit granny-ish. But as I got an older, I'm probably closer to being a granny, I really enjoy it. Once I've cleansed, exfoliated my face, I spray this on and I just leave it to dry. You can use a cotton pad to wipe it away but if I've got time then I'll just leave it. I use it in the morning and in the evening and it's really lovely. And then there's the Opulus, Opulus eye oil. It's a roll on one and I just roll it under both eyes and then I just rub it in. You can leave it 
um, but for me I like to kind of rub it all around the eye area and it has prickly pear seed oil and marula oil in I just feel like it freshens my eyes up a little bit it helps with eye bags and just making the skin around there quite soft and supple I am awful for rubbing my eyes when I'm tired and I feel like that skin around there is so delicate and sensitive and even though I always cleanse and tone and moisturize I feel like I need something a little bit more specific for that eye area Okay, last two beauty products, Sand and Sky Face Mask. This is another Instagram purchase. It's all natural Australian products. It's quite a tingly one, so if I've just cleansed and exfoliated and then put it on, it can sting a little bit. So I tend to kind of do the cleanse and exfoliate and stuff and then leave it maybe 15 minutes before I put the mask on. It's just one that dries on and then you wash it away. It closes your pores because I have quite large pores on my nose. I use it maybe once every two weeks. I'd like to use it once a week, but I just forget and my skin just feels brighter and smoother. And then the last one, another Tropic skincare product. This is the Super Greens Nutrient Boost Serum. So it comes in one of the little droppers like this. I literally use like three drops in my hand. I use it at night time because it is quite an oily serum. I have used it in the morning as well and then put makeup on, but I feel like the makeup kind of slides off a little bit. So if you're going to use it in the morning, maybe use it like 15 minutes before you put your makeup on. It is made with chlorophyll, kale, and maca root extracts. It is just full of nutrients and goodness. And you literally feel like you're putting like a green smoothie with the best fruits and vegetables in the world on your face. I absolutely love this. And when I put it on at night time, I wake up so glowy and dewy. It's a big staple in my skincare routine. So that's it. Those are my current self-care beauty favourites. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you're going to give some of these a go. I will link them all below. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these, if you're going to give them a go. If you liked this kind of video, again, please do give it a big fat thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know if you want to see more like this and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!